Welcome to Randwick's Rare Pop Special News Bulletin. We're here today highlighting some of the dangers of Randwick Road and reasons why there should be a 40 km school speed zone and active warning school system outside Randwick School. Randwick Road is an arterial road which serves both commuter traffic and freight traffic to and from the industrial areas of Gracefield and Seaview. When the school travel plan survey the main safety concerns were the busy arterial road outside the school gate on Randwick Road. Also, many families voiced their concern about cars not stopping or slowing down for children on the crossing. We asked an expert, Brian Spurrier, a traffic engineer from Hutt City Council, why is Randwick School a suitable candidate for the 40 km speed zone signing? Thank you, Maggie. Uh, look, we've surveyed every school in Mower Hutt to see if they meet the criteria that the New Zealand Transport Agency has set for school uh, speed signing. And uh, Randwick School actually ranks in the top three of our schools for speed zone signing. Thank you, Brian. Back to you in the studio, Damon. In the past five years, from January 2005 to December 2009, there has been a total of 60 crashes on Randwick Road itself. 13 of these crashes resulted in injury and 47 non-injury crashes. Four out of 13 injury crashes pedestrian were hit by vehicles. Three of these were hit on the crossing by the shops when cars failed to stop for them. Ten of the non-injury crashes happened within 100 metres of Ramrock School. Four were near and uh, rear end crashes and two of these happened on a school day when a car was stopped to give way to, put to a pedestrian. These must be some very worrying statistics for parents and children who live along Ramrock School. Michelle, you are a parent of three young children who regularly walk to school. How does these statistics make you feel? I think they're disgusting. What are some of the issues that you have encountered while trying to cross the children on the pedestrian crossing? Oh, traffic doesn't want to stop. You reach out and launch yourself at the traffic to get them to stop, which is a danger issue on its own. Um, any, you know, any of those sort of basic issues of speed, um, cars going around the patrol sign, and the, the quantity of cars peak our traffic being a main road. Roundwick Road is a major road carrying approximately 20,000 vehicles per day with a very high percentage of heavy trucks and buzzers. Within the 50 km current speed zone, the 85th percentile speed is recorded as 57 km an hour. We crossed to Maggie, our roving reporter with Constable Julie Orr. Constable Julie Orr, what is your involvement at Roundwick School? Thanks Maggie, my involvement here is I'm a police education officer. We run programs in here like um, pedestrian safety, where the children learn to cross over the crossing. We learn to go around the neighbourhood using the footpaths safely. And I also do road patrol training here. It's a very hard job. Ramwick Road is so busy that the patrollers have to use a method where instead of two signs going out at once, we get one sign out and the other side out because the volume is huge. Some of the issues you have encountered while being on road patrol with the children? The volume, it says a lot. It makes it a very difficult job for the children to do road patrol safely. Um, just the sheer volume of traffic going past that we encounter every day, especially the peak hour traffic when we're trying to do school road patrol, makes it very difficult. So how can Roundwick Road be made safer for the children of Roundwick School? Easy. We'd love to win a variable, 40k, zone speed area for around our school. Thank you, Constable Julie. You're welcome. To summarise the key facts, Ramwick Road is a very busy arterial route that has a large number of both cars and heavy vehicles. Ramwick School's frontage is set back from the road and there are some drivers that are unaware the school's even there. Speed is a major factor along this straight stretch of road. In five years, there has there have been 60 crashes, 13 injuries, not long before someone gets seriously hurt or killed when on Ramwick Road. We leave you today with a message from the children of Ramwick School.